I went up there in a chuggy, chuggy little lift. 60 feet in the air it went. Up, 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 to Michelangelo height. Quite scary, really. But when you got there, oh, what a sight. It was like a football pitch of unforgettable images stretching away in all directions. It was so big. And it wasn't flat, as I'd been expecting. It looks flat from the ground, but from up there, it's really lumpy and rolls away from you like a big range of hills. When I went up there, they were restoring the most famous scene on the ceiling, God creating Adam, the one with the fingers. And I was stunned to discover that those famous fingers, the most famous fingers in art, weren't all painted by Michelangelo. At some point in the ceiling's battered history, the original fingers had fallen off and some anonymous lackey had had to repaint them. When the restorers turned their backs, I was very, very naughty and I touched Adam. It was such a thrill. One of the most exciting things I've ever done. You know his penis, that famous little penis? It's just one brush stroke. It's so sweet. Something else hit me forcefully when I was up there. I felt as if there was something going on about which I'd never been told as if Michelangelo had successfully smuggled a secret storyline into the Sistine Chapel, as if it was famous for the wrong things. I came down from that ceiling, determined to find out what that secret was. It's taken me 15 years, but I've done it, though I sometimes wish I hadn't. <laughs>